we are back today on this uh, whatever day it is, and we have a little debate going, and it's not an original debate that we just started, but it's a debate coming from uh, good old Barstool Chicago. You can go listen to their podcast, The Dog Walk, which is what it's coming from. Basically, they did a draft. They do every single week. They do like a, a draft for different things. It's a snake draft, and last week they drafted the best appetizers. So it's like everyone like has their top five, they go five rounds and, you know, each person like has their pick and then it's a snake draft, just like in, you know, fantasy football or whatever. Um, the number one pick overall was Buffalo wings. Um, and then I went to like, I think it was nachos, mozzarella sticks, quesadillas and crab cakes was like the first round. So good friend of the show, Carl wanted to pick the sampler platter as one of his picks. And everybody shot him down right away. And he was, like, defending this. And so, basically, me and Breach are okay with it. And Justin... No, bye. It's not. Bye. Okay, listen here. Let me give you a defense because it's two against one. Let me go. So, sampler platter. You're going to get some chicken fingers. You're going to get some mozzarella sticks. You're going to get some wings. You might get some bites. Like, you can't use a sampler platter as an appetizer because you're getting one of everything. It's like going to Costco and just trying samples of everything. It's like, huh, let me take one of each, you know? Like, when you're doing best appetizers, you got to you gotta differentiate. You got to pick which one's different, you know? You got to pick the nachos. You got to pick the wings. You got to pick the mozzarella sticks. You can't say, oh, let me get the sample and be like, that's it. I don't know. I'm looking at this Applebee's sampler right now, and I think it's pretty damn good. You got four bacon and cheese quesadillas, four fried cheese sticks with marinara sauce, spinach and artichoke dip served with chips, and four boneless buffalo wings with celery and ranch dressing. That sounds like a meal. See, that's that's a fine appetizer, but you can't put on the best appetizer list. So here's what I'm thinking. If like, no one's was... going to be like, hey, let's go to a fucking... Applebee, like let's let's go there and get some sampler platters. No, no, we just go like let's go here get some wings, get some nachos, let's get some let's get some appetizers, you know. Like okay, <laughs> wasn't that from the office? Appetizers, yeah, yeah, appetizers, yeah. And look at the the what was oh shoot, um, what was the uh, awesome Boston? That's what Michael ordered for the table. Let me get awesome Boston. Extra awesome. Yeah, people, he's not gonna go. The, when you go to a business lunch, you're not gonna get a sampler platter. You're getting the whole friggin' thing, you know. Okay, but here is where I gotta defend this like thing. So, if you're talking about the best food that can be appetizers, then yes, you can't take a sampler platter. But if you're talking about just generically the best appetizers, if I look at a menu and I see the appetizers, the appetizers, as you say. Um, no, wait, wasn't that Stanley that said that? Get some appetizers. <laughs> we got to get some more appetizers this time. Anyway, if, if you're looking at the menu, on the menu, under appetizers, is the sampler, which is a little piece from, like, different things, and you can choose your own or whatever. Technically, that is a category under the appetizers part of the menu. So I say you can, you know, you can. It, Carl could have drafted it. But... Everyone's like, oh, well, no, because it's it's just pieces of other things. And the point that he made um, was instead of, like, if you order buffalo wings and let's say you get, like, six buffalo wings, he wants, like, you know, two of those wings. Like, he wants, like, two of those mozzarella sticks instead of, like, four. You know what I mean? Like, it's a little pe- – it's, it's bringing together all the different pieces into one item. So it's taking from a bunch of things and turning them into one. And to me, I, I think that because it's appetizers, just the best appetizers, what is the best appetizer on the menu? It would be that because you get a little bit of everything. I don't know. When we go get, if someone says let's go get some sampler platters, I'm like, uh, that's not an appetizer. Well, you're getting an appetizer, like you're sharing it, but it's not real. It's like a fake appetizer, dude. If you're putting plastic surgery on your appetizer, you know, you're giving a little HGH on your appetizer. You're not really, you're not helping out the team. I don't know, dude. Like, I I like I understand why. Well, first of all, I don't know why this is just a big, it's such a big deal. Like, 
obviously it's okay to put on like the draft, but um, like, I understand why people can be like, well, that's not like a specific food, but are we talking about specific foods? You know what I mean? Like, uh, like there's like, if I, um, like if I want, you know, like loaded waffle fries is something that Eddie picked in the fourth round loaded waffle fries. Like that's, if you just get waffle fries, like is waffle fries just an appetizer? No, like, can, no, can no. Not take that loaded? A creation. That's a creation. That's not a. See, it's when a you're creation, you're, you're exactly. So platter, right? When you're in a sampler platter, it's you're a sampling, creation. You're you're no, you're sampling each app, each app, which is essentially in the title. But when you create something that has its own name, then it's like, all right, here we go. You're having so, this. And you're having a lot. You're having a lot of it. You're not having a little taste test where you could just taste test this, taste test this, taste that. You're having the full thing. You're having the full meal. What the appetizer is. But you just said it right there. The um, like the what's it called? Like you're taking different parts and you're putting them together to make something new. So technically, that's no, what a sampler platter because- is. The division in the box is not really an appetizer. You're just a little sampler platter. But if when there's everything's mixed together, then you're good to go. Now, if the sampler platter had everything mixed together, all, all up in one, you're having everything all together. Yeah, that's a different story. But you're not biting the wing while you eat the the mozzarella stick while you're whatever. Okay. Now let me ask you this. I don't know how to say this word, but it's like charcuterie, like whatever. It's like a cheese plate with like some meat on it or whatever. Um, White Sox Dave, he picked that in the fourth round. Now, how is that okay? But the sample oh, platter is not. That's, that's also pl- no, no platter should be involved in appetizers. So that so you're oh a chief picked hummus in the fourth round. Get him out yeah, of hum- here. Oh, oh, just invited. Just just the next 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 wrestling trip, you get your own table. Table Let me, one. I will get my own table and I'll have my own nachos and I'll be good to go. What are your thoughts on burrata salad? I don't know what that is. I don't, I I think there's like like tomatoes and like a big like chunk of like mozzarella. Anyway, like so here's the thing. So I'll, I'm gonna read here. Okay, so I'm gonna read this. Actually, I'll just send you guys the I'll send you guys the the thing in the Skype chat of the like who picked what. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hey, hey. What it'd be better to do, Mike, is just if we do our own, just uh, just we do it. Mm-hmm. Have we go, go Justin, you, me. I'll go last. And, How many and rounds are we going? Might we'll go three rounds. I think, I think that's the best way to do it. Yeah. Oh, I okay. thought we were gonna do just straight up like make a poll on Twitter: is sampler platters an appetizer or not? They already did that. Um, but I think we should also do the draft. You want, okay? Well, you want to go? Uh, you want to do like a three round draft? Like your top three. Like uh, what's it called? Your top three picks for appetizers? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. And then, and then you could also do another poll about whose table you would want to sit at. <laughs> Justin's, Mike, Steve's, based on the apps that are sitting on the table. So right now, they, 13 minutes ago, they put up the do- the official dog walk account put up a uh, should the sampler platter have counted in the appetizer draft. And 500 people, almost 600 people have voted, and 55% voted no, 44%, including me, voted yes. So it's close, but it's, you know, so far it's no. So, okay. I, is it I go Barstool? Yeah, it's uh, if you go to Dog Walk Barstool. So out of, oh, okay. out, of, out of what everyone picked, we picked three things. Oh, we could do that. It makes it easier. It has to be on there, because ain't nobody picking that damn salad. <laughs> Brought us out. Let me tell you about. I'll, I'll tell you later. Whatever. Well, I, I, I got to defend Chief for a second. Already, I picked my three. I think I picked my three. Are we doing snake draft? Or are we just are we just picking our yeah, own? Snake, snake it, baby, snake it. All right. Uh, who's going first then? All right. I'm gonna start with my first draft pick. Definitely nachos, dude. Oh, uh, that's a good pick. That's a damn good Hall of Fame pick right there. That's somebody you could put behind center. And he's gonna lead you to a few Super Bowls. <laughs> I like. <it. laughs> okay, go ahead, Breach. No, I, I'll go third. I'll go third. All right, fine. Then I'll. Then I am going to take the like. I don't even know if I have to be specific, but I'm taking like buffalo wings. But I'm taking boneless buffalo wings because like I don't care if you're gonna call it a overpriced chicken nugget. 
I, I mean, it's a different kind of overpriced chicken nugget, the, the boneless buffalo wing. So I, like, when I was younger, I tried buffalo wings, like, normal with the bone in, but I just, like, really didn't, like, like them. So I feel like if I tried them now, maybe I would like them a little bit more. Um, but as of right now, I've always liked boneless, so I'm going with boneless wings. The, specifically, well, uh, on, your, on, on your wing, is there sauce on them? Yeah, honey barbecue. Okay, I, I can eat that. I can eat that. All right, we'll give Mike wings so we can't drop wings. Wings. All right. And then, and Justin, this is the snake draft, so I'm going to go twice, okay, right? Here we go. So, no, wait, wait, is, is that the way we're doing it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. okay. All right. With my first round pick, I'm going to be very specific. It has to be from Chili's, and it is the Southwest Egg Rolls. These are what? the best apps that there is. <laughs> Nothing beats this. Five stars. So, can't go wrong. Mike's laughing. I want to see this stuff from Chili's. Uh, yeah. So, there and some corn, a little bit of spice, but not too much. Oh, are we describing our thing? All right. So, I want to say my nachos, by the way. There's a place called Jack Astor's. It's nachos, beef chili nachos. Like, there's beef chili on top. There's, it's all garnished up with jalapenos and peppers and onions. You got guac on the side, and you're good to go. Great. You and, didn't even get the full egg roll. It's caked, in, it's caked up in cheese, by the way. Caked in cheese. Every chip I, is cheese. Breach, it looks like they took those egg roll. It looks like they took an egg roll, and they cut it in half diagonally like this is like a, a school lunch. Like, what? It's an app, Mike. It's not the main course. It's not supposed to fill you up because you got that two for 20 coming right so behind you, it. You're getting, you're getting three, three mini egg rolls that are cut in half. That's what you're getting. Uh, anyway. All right. Okay, go ahead. Number with, two. With, my, with my, my first pick in the second draft, I'm going to go. I, I honestly, I want this one app so much, but I'm hoping that my third round Hall of Fame pick will hang around. But I'm going to have to pick potato skins with, with my second pick. Potato skins are pretty good. That's, there you go. That's pretty good. There you go. I mean, it's that cream. You got, it's almost like eating a mini baked potato. I this think we should, just right go, we should just go all five rounds because now I'm thinking, I'm looking at, I'm looking and I'm thinking about different appetizers like, I, I mean, like, number two is hard because, like, there's a lot of good things, and I don't know what I should take. I don't know, man. <clears throat> like, I don't want to explain it because then I, someone else is going to take it. I, I know. That's why I didn't, I didn't say what I, 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 I thought potato skins would be gone, but my number three I was thinking was going to be sneaky. So I'm, I'm hoping it sticks around. But I think that my number three could be at right up Hall of Famer, right up there next to uh, right up next to the nachos right. that Justin took. <clears throat> All three. right, I got it. Three, Mike. We're doing three. So three. That's what makes more fun. All right, so three. Then, okay, number two. I think I've tried these for the first time at Jefferson's in Lawrence, Kansas. Shout out to Jefferson's. Great, great wings. Fried. Uh, um, fried. And... No, it's not. Um, oh, I, I'm not a big fan of fried pickles, but I will have them only if I'm at Jefferson's in Kansas. It's like I only have those ones. But the thing that I will have other places are the fried mac and cheese bites. Oh, I've had those ones. They, mean, they're good, I, they, but they're easy. Like, yeah, I can see how they get dried out and they wouldn't be as good. I think you got to pop those in your mouth right away. Take that burn. I, <laughs> if you wait just a few minutes after they take them out, so then they're not that, like, they're not, like, going to burn your mouth, um, then they're good. I mean, like, you can have some good, you dip them in some ranch, the, the, they can be good. Uh, mac and cheese bites, like, I was going between that and another one, but I, I went with those. Okay, Justin, go ahead. All right, here we go. Classic. You go anywhere, any bar, you get these. Mozzarella sticks, dude. Oh, that's a good one. That, that is a good one. I, I used to go to 
to this one place. They had mozzarella hearts. And my girlfriend always wanted to get them at the time. They were good. Yeah, but she was a sucker for the hearts. <laughs> See, the only thing with mozzarella sticks are, um, I, I, for some reason, I feel like those are, like, really, like, easy to get anywhere. Um, like, yeah, you, can them, you can get them frozen. Pasta. You can get them frozen in, like, the frozen aisle of, like, Walmart and, like, make them in, in your house. So that's why it's like, if I go out somewhere, like that's like not going to be my first thing that I would pick. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. What's your wrap around pick, Justin? Your final, third and final pick. Oh, every date you go on, you go to the classic calamari, dude. Oh, let it go. Let it go. That's all you. That's all you. Yeah. That, I, and- I had that for the first time with uh, Falcone and Ravi um, during one of the trips. Um, it's not like I remember like uh, like Jeff used to make fun of like James all the time like for his fried calamari like you know that was always like a thing and I never knew what it was and then I tried it and I was like you know what like I, I can I can do without this like especially like the stringy ones you know calamari is five stars it depends on the place obviously the one we had in uh, Chicago was okay there was like. Yeah. You gotta get like you can't get uh, ones that are too big and stringy like you got. I feel like you gotta get them like small and crispy, and a little bit chewy. Yeah. Okay. I knew none of you would pick that. I figured. That yeah. On no. my dark horse pick. Okay, so. All right. After after this, I want to do some. Uh, like we we gotta we gotta do some like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um. Like mentions like like yeah. after. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, this is hard because like I'm stuck between two, um, and I'm gonna have to go. I'm trying to think of what I would like if I went to a restaurant right now and like they said, you know, order any appetizer you want. What would be the top three that I would pick? I think I'm gonna have to go with pretzel bites. You can get like oh cheese. You can get some good beer cheese. Like there you go. That's. Like, you can get some good pretzels. You can get some good... Like, you can tell when the pretzels are made in back or if they're frozen. And I feel like you can go to a lot of places that have really good beer cheese. Red Robin has really good, uh, like, beer cheese. Um, I think even... Uh, Bob, like, today is Wednesday, the day we're recording this, uh, is Bobby Gross, uh, Break the Walls 10, his birthday. Shout out to Bobby. He went, like, crazy looking for the Red Robin, like, cheese that they use for the beer cheese. Um, and like I would always look for it in stores, and uh, yeah, pretzel bites, breach, final pick. I'm going with probably with the the best selling appetizer there is on there, a guaranteed Hall of Famer in the wall of appetizers. You got the Outbacks, Bloomin' Onion, right there. Can't beat it. Done. You should have been the number one pick in the draft. See, see the thing about Bloomin' Onion. <laughs> Never anywhere. I can't go anywhere and go get a blooming onion, you know? Yeah, you have to be specific. The Outback, the home of the blooming onion. Yeah. What about yeah, Awesome Blossom? Awesome Blossom is very similar. What do you think about that? What came awesome first? Blossom, chicken or the egg? Like, I've gotten that, like, at the fair, you know? Like, or like mm-hmm. a carnival. It's like carnival food. Well, I mean, me. most of the stuff can be carnival food. But uh, here's the thing. I'm not a big onion guy. So you can have that one, Breach. Like, I'll have, like, if I go to Outback, I'll have, like, the really good, like, bread. Um, you can have the Bloomin' Onion. So I was stuck between I was stuck between pretzel bites and chips and guac. But then chips and guac are, like... I'll, I'll guac all day, even though I'm eating guacamole right now. <laughs> like... I feel like I need to go, like, you know, I need, like, some tacos or a burrito or something with my chips and guac. Like, if I go to Chipotle or something, you know what I mean? So, like, honorable mentions. Oh, did we get to you, Mike? My bad. No, no, no. no. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, so I'm honorable done. mentions, definitely a quesadilla. Yeah, like, but I feel like that's like a meal. But that's like a meal. That's like borderline. That's borderline. You get a yeah. quesadilla app if, like, four people and they all get one little slice ski or you get, like, a whole meal. Um, pot stickers about, are good. Uh, um, I think it, it it has to be a date one. It's like I don't see me and Mike or me and Justin sitting down and splitting this. But the uh, spinach and artichoke dip with, with, with some good sliced bread on the side. 
Man, that's, that's some killer stuff right there. So I'm looking at this, like I'm looking at the like the, the bar stools like graphic, and so I think okay, so here here's what I think. One just overall. So Eddie had mozzarella sticks, one potato skins, pretzel bites, loaded waffle fries, and pot stickers. So to me, that one's the winner. But when I was looking at Chiefs, we got buffalo wings, burrata salad, sliders, hummus plate, and chips and guac. To me, if I sat down at a table and they had all five of those items, like I would obviously love the buffalo wings. I would love the sliders. I would love the chips and guac. I would try the hummus for the first time. I would try the burrata salad for the first time. Maybe I would like it. Maybe I wouldn't. But the fact that I would get that like chance to try it. So I feel like if we're going for diversity, I feel like chief on this list is like the overall. Right. It's like a hard one because that you could like a borderline. It's a borderline app slash you get as a meal, you know, for what? Sliders. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. If it crosses over, like you got to have one slider. You know what I mean? You can't have. You can't have a lot of sliders. Like, it's just one and done. Like, everyone gets a slider kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know that. That's why a slider is always hard. Because I'm like, I've gotten an order of sliders and just ate straight up four. <gasps> I'm trying to, like, okay, cheese curds, to me, when I think of cheese curds, I think of Culver's, which I is, like, a local thing. I see a cheese curd. So that's, like, that's like I would never get cheese curds. I would just get a poutine. And I would but just cheese- get a poutine on, a, on the side of my meal. The cheese curds, like in like the cheese curds and poutine, are not breaded and not fried. Like in, in in America, obviously it's fried and it's breaded. Like if you go to Culver's, Culver's has some good cheese curds. But all right, well, we uh, that was fun. <laughs> I'm not saying that we should. I'm not saying we should rip them off more. Um, but uh, you know, I mean, it's it's fun to do these uh, these drafts on random things. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you again on the next one.